Evening, Dave. Hey, you right? Not bad, yourself? I'm good, I'm good. You good? Yeah, is this your first Brit Awards? Yeah, the first one I've been to. How do you feel about it? It's surreal, you know? It's an amazing feeling. <laughs> what do you make of your competition? The highest level. <laughs> they are the highest level that I could be surrounded by, you know? So, this is the best competition to be around. Other than yourself, who would you like to see win? Jay Huss. What do you reckon it is about Jay Huss that's captured so many people's imagination? He's the most distinct and original and relentless, unforgiving musician that we have in our scene and culture right now. He is himself and no one else, and I guess that's what everybody loves about him. And uh, how's progress on the album going? It's starting, and it's sounding good. You know, it's progressing really well, so. When do you reckon we can hear it? Sorry? When do you reckon we can hear it? This year. This year. Yeah, definitely 2018. Any sort of massive collaborations going on there, or are you going to keep it all down to yourself? I mean, I think that what's going to happen is going to happen naturally. I haven't started or gone out and looked for collaborations, but I know there's a lot of people that I've been trying to work with when it gets to that level to put something out on my debut, so I'm definitely going to be going for them. And do you have any ideas in terms of lyrics or sound about where you want to take things from here? Yeah, I've been working with Nana Rogues a lot, and sound-wise, I know exactly where I want to take it and where where I want to be, where the album comes out. So it feels, you know, darker, eerie, more mature. It feels like a turning stone in my, in my life. Lyrically, what do you think you're going to be dealing with? Just Is it all going to be all biographical? Or? You know, I've been going through a lot recently and it's difficult to speak about, but my friend always said, like, when you're speaking, just keep it in the music. So I feel like I've gone through a lot in the last couple of months that's going to allow me to open up a brand new chapter in my life music-wise, album-wise, and just shed a lot of light into a lot of things because London's in a crazy place right now. It's so positive in certain areas and so negative in certain areas. And I feel like now is the best time to speak about it and put all of that into the music. What is it about the negative side of London that's been inspiring? I mean, you know, we've got so many different aspects. That like we've got the Grenfell Tower, which obviously still hasn't been dealt with, which we had... We've still been feeling uneasy about it's just not it's not fair the way that it's been dealt with and handled it's just politically it's it's so much politics in that. I feel like knife crime's obviously a huge issue. I feel like there's so many different aspects of just fundamentally the way that our system is working in terms of you know, the lack of choice that we have in the things that are happening, leaving the EU and the way that we're going. It's so difficult to speak about now on such a positive scale, like, because I've actually come here with the brightest mindset to go into the darker side of London. It's kind of difficult, but there's a lot going on negative, but there's a lot going on positive. There's a lot that people can do musically. There's a lot that you can take yourself to if you put your mind to it. You know, you can go from being in your room to going number two, number one in a matter of months, you know, in a matter of weeks, as we've seen. So I feel like there's a lot of both, and I want to speak about it as best as I can on the album, you know? Back to the positive, don't want to get too dark. Um, when do you reckon we can see you on the road again? Not this year. Only in America, but um, maybe 2019.